So I wanted to list some of the reasons why your boy Ropes feels that it's always been a bad idea to compare Floyd Mayweather to Sugar Ray Robinson. It's just stupid. I never understood why extreme Floyd Mayweather fans. I like to call them uh, Mayweather defense attorneys. I mean, he's got defense attorneys and financial advisors right here on YouTube that he doesn't even know about. Shit is crazy. But I never understood why they felt the need to drag Sugar Ray Robinson's name down into Floyd Mayweather's legacy. Because in my opinion, it only makes Floyd Mayweather look worse. He would look a lot better if you just compared him to guys in his era, or at least somewhere close to it. And this is where a lot of Floyd Mayweather's problems started. I remember when Mayweather was talking about he was better than Sugar Ray Robinson and Muhammad Ali and um, what he put out there for people who don't know any better to eat up was that all Muhammad Ali did was lay on the ropes and take damage. So he all that bouncing around the ring that he used to do and working behind his jab, dropping the right hand, none of that ever happened. All he ever did was lay on the ropes and take damage. See, what he did was he took what Ali did in a few fights and he stretched it across his whole legacy and put it out there for people to believe who don't know any better and that's what I have a problem with there's nothing wrong with you saying that you're TBE or you feel like you're the greatest nothing wrong with that but when you have to try to diminish the accomplishments of people before you to place yourself above them that's when it looks desperate and it looks kind of insecure to be honest with you now, people like to bring up the fact that Sugar Ray Robinson had 19 losses and Floyd Mayweather has never been beat. But what 100% of the time they failed to mention is that Sugar Ray Robinson had 200 fights. Okay, that's four times the amount of fights, over four times the amount of fights that Floyd Mayweather had. Floyd Mayweather had 49 fights compared to 200. Do you really believe that Floyd Mayweather would be 200 and 0 right now in Sugar Ray Robinson's era? 200 and 0, you think Floyd Mayweather would have made it? I could tell you for a fact that he wouldn't, and yes, I said a fact, it's not my opinion. The reason why I say it's a fact because if you look at Floyd Mayweather's career with his injuries to his hands, there's no way he would have been able to fight that often. Floyd Mayweather fought, fought like once a year a couple times. took about three years off you know he gave his hands time to heal what happens when he goes in there and he fucks his hands up and then he's got to fight two weeks later I mean these guys were fighting three four times a month okay 15 20 times a year crazy shit like that this guy fought probably the most in his career he probably fought four times in a year Okay, it's a completely different ball game. I don't understand why you guys try to bring up these 19 losses. And the 19 losses out of those, 11 of them happened after he was 40 years old. Okay, he retired at 44. But out of 200 fights, he had 173 wins. Over triple the amount of fights that Floyd Mayweather has. Or wins that he has. And he had 108 knockouts. He had double the knockouts than Floyd Mayweather had fights in total. And on top of that, he went 40 and 0. Then he lost to uh, Rocky Marciano, which could have been bullshit. I'm not saying that it was for sure, for a fact. But what I'm saying is it could have been some politics with that. Okay? Because he went on to beat the guy five more times after that. He fought him something like 20 something days later and beat him okay so it could have been some funny business with that but I don't know for sure okay but then after that one loss he went and he won 89 more straight okay and he even fought for the light heavyweight title at one point against Joey Maxim and he was winning that fight on points but there was a heat wave there were that fight took place outside there was a heat wave and he passed out from heat exhaustion he couldn't answer the bill for the next round and there were people in the crowd, spectators, who also passed out that day. But he was winning on points. All he had to do was finish the fight. But nature wouldn't let him. 
So when you're talking about Sugar Ray Robinson, you're talking about a guy who held a title at welterweight. He dominated um, the middleweight division, became undisputed there. And he almost became a light heavyweight champion. For you people who want to talk about what Floyd Mayweather was small, when the fact of the matter is the guy is a welterweight. He's a natural welterweight. You want to bring up when he first started, everybody's fucking smaller when they first come into boxing. Okay, as you get older, you hold weight a lot differently. Stop talking about that he was a 135 pound shit, okay? That was a long time ago. Floyd Mayweather, he could have moved up to middleweight if he wanted to. He could have done it. He might not have won, but he could have done it. And I think that there's fights up there he could have won. Because his defense is so good. So it's, it's just a bad idea to compare these guys. Now, but Floyd Mayweather got 26 knockouts compared to 108 from Sugar Ray Robinson. And I don't even remember the number of knockouts that Sugar Ray Robinson had that happened in the first round. This guy was knocking middleweights out, man. Stop it with this damn comparison. It does no good. It doesn't make Floyd Mayweather look better by bringing up 19 losses when you don't even have any information to go behind that. Okay, when you factor in how many times a damn year he had to fight, how many of his losses happened after 40, which Floyd Mayweather has yet to have a professional fight at the age of 40 yet against a professional boxer. And like I say, Ray Robinson had 11 losses after he was 40 years old. Like you have to consider that when you're throwing out the 19 losses as a reason why he's better or he's not as good as Floyd Mayweather. You got to look at the level of competition. The gruesome fights that he had to be in where we don't know how, how injured he was in those fights, how many injuries he had. But he had to keep fighting. And I'm not talking about anything about money and the finance part of it. Listen, Floyd Mayweather was a genius on the money side of things. Can't say nothing bad about that. He handled his business. He got in, he got out, and he's got his money. That's fine if that's what he wanted to do. He said that's what he wanted to do, so I don't have no problem with that. But if you're going to do that, then don't try to diminish the skills and the accomplishments of Sugar Ray Robinson and other great fighters before you. You can't do those two things at the same time. Either you're just doing this for the money and you want to leave the sport with a uh, little risk, high reward. If that's what you're really saying and you're being honest about it, cool. But he really does get upset when you place other fighters of the past over him. I remember when he did those two interviews, he went to that, I think he was on ESPN. And they did like their top five list and he came in at uh, I think number four or number three on both of their lists. And look at him, man. He looked a little bit salty about that. It was like, there's a reason why those guys are being placed over you, man. You're 49 and no, that's not the greatest thing that's ever happened in, in boxing. It's just not. Where do you guys get this shit from? That 49 and 0, just because he's 49 and 0, for a lot of hardcore Floyd Mayweather fans, this is the only reason why he's the greatest of all time is because nobody's beaten him in 49 fights. That's a very low number. Look at all these other guys like um, Julio Cesar Chavez. Didn't he go like um, like 80 and 0 or something crazy like that before he lost? 49 and 0 is not the greatest thing that's ever happened in boxing. Like you guys need to knock it off with this. Floyd Mayweather, his legacy looks all right for this damn era. But once you start dipping back into other eras, he, he's just not, it's not the same ball game. He's just not on their level. He had it a hell of a lot easier. That's what we're trying to tell you guys.